joining my channel. I'm Ali from Ali G Art Designs. Uh, today we are going to continue on this theme of in the grey. Uh, so the painting I've done for you today is a split base light grey and a dark grey. Um, the colours I've used are just to die for. They are just the most beautiful colours. Sometimes I think it's a bit of a cop out because they always work these colours. Um, so they're the peacock colours with the vibrant purples and the um, magentas and the turquoise. So um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I hope you enjoy it. And can I just ask that if you really like this video and you want to see more of these videos and be notified of these videos, please subscribe. It would be great. Uh, to just have you part of this journey of in the grey um, as we continue. So let's get messy and paint. And I have got with me here, I have got light grey. That's roughly the consistency. Not roughly, that's exactly the consistency. Um, and I can't show you the consistency of the next one because it's in a, in a squeezy bottle, um, but we will lay it out like that. Now what I've done is um, I did a few uh, drip tests. So here, I, as you can see, I've got the light grey, I've got the dark grey, I've got some of my colours that I'm going to use, they're not all the colours. Um, and I did find when I did the test that the light grey kind of dripped a little bit further, which meant it was thinner. Uh, so I have adjusted that. Um, found that one of my metallic colors uh, wasn't dripping enough so I've added some water to that uh, this one is okay it's metallic so the fact that it's a bit thicker is okay All right, just going to start. Well, these are all global colours today, um, I think, yes. And I'm just going to start with global white. I'm then going to use the turquoise. Um, this is a very solid colour, so it's very opaque. So I'll put, keep that one underneath. Then going to use the global magenta, which is I am then going to use uh, yep, I will use this one. So I've got the ultraviolet from global. Um the magenta mixed with metallic black. Um, I might leave that one last and put some normal gold. And now I'll use the, uh, the magical rose gold. It just shines so beautifully. Alright, so I'm just going, oh, all these things are dropping in here, I don't know where they're coming from. Alright, here's a little bit of flooding going on. Like it's okay to have some negative space, sometimes I blow too much and you don't have a lot of negative space left. But I'm just going to try and not do that. I have done paintings like that before and it, the, the colours are very strong and it's uh, pretty. So we'll see how we go. All right. Okay, this is where the magic starts. Um, so my hairdryer, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but it's a very tiny hairdryer. 
uh, it, I got it from the shaver shop in Australia. Um, not really that cheap. <laughs> I was hoping for a cheaper one, but it just, I just love it. It's, it works really well for me. It gives me a lot of confidence that I, I get the results that I want. So here we go. Oh. having a little bit of trouble with this moving. I'm just going to pour a little bit more of this. May as well strike it now. If I just need it to flood it a bit more. Um, I might not be able to do that one. I'll fix that one up later because it hasn't moved as much as I wanted it to. Let's get going. Good, love the colours, absolutely love it. Um, I might just like they're beautiful colours, but it, they just weren't moving right there. And um, I think I might just, yeah, I might just see if I can get that going a bit better. I'm just gonna put a little bit of white here. Got to remember what order I put them in there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was this one. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. And then a little bit of that. Hopefully I've got them in the right order. A little bit of that. And I'm just going to proceed on this first. I'm going to actually try and scrape this off without altering too much. Just doing this so that it doesn't muddy into what's already there and I just have that risk of that happening. So, um, and I'm just gonna pour some more of this over. Too much because I'll bury the whole colour. Um, looks great it just looks like it's been added on but I'm going to see if I can change that when I do my swipes um, anyway but the colours have come out beautifully you can see that rose gold it's just everywhere it's so pretty very happy with it
Oh, wow. All right. I think I'm done. And I am just going to bring it in for a close-up. Yeah, let's do that. It's got some gold lacing coming through. Oh, wow. Just all that change, didn't we? <laughs> wow, how cute. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. I did give it a bit of a torch just before I grabbed the camera and um, I came up with all these cells. So <laughs> that was a bonus. I love it because it's not too much. Look at that. Um, try and get it where you can see it a bit better, but you can, yeah. Oh, that's great. I am so happy with that painting. Oh, wow. Look at that. Love it. Hope you like it too. I will show you the dry results. Um, and uh, yeah, beautiful painting. I like it. So here's this painting. It is absolutely gorgeous. Just look at that gold. It has just shone so incredibly. Look at that. That is so pretty. Oh, just see that rose gold <laughs> change colour as the shade goes over it. Ah, oh, it is so gorgeous. It's just so beautiful. I'm very happy with that. I hope you're happy too. And I hope you join me for my next one. Bye for now. Bye.